Hello Pisces and welcome to your July reading. This is for all Pisces placements. So Pisces, we're going to take a look at your month of July. I almost said June. I can't believe we're already <laughs> entering the month of July. But yeah, we're going to look at your month ahead. Uh, see what's coming for you, what uh, messages, what advice your guides have for you. Uh, in case you missed it, I'm going to link in the description box the July pick a card if you want to watch that, as well as your sun, moon, and rising to get a holistic view of your month ahead. In that July pick a card, I do have a reading for a free giveaway. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. It's my way of saying thank you uh, and giving back to you guys. But let's not waste any more time. Not like we're wasting it, but <laughs> let's get started. Let's call in our guides, angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency. Please be with us today to provide the most accurate, meaningful messages for Pisces in regards to July 2023. Thank you for your clear and accurate messages. And thank you, Pisces, for being here. So we're going to start off with the tarot. We've got a few oracle decks, tea leaves. And yeah, spirit, what is going on? in July for Pisces. What can I expect? Whoops, the cards are in my, my cord. <laughs> what is going on in July for Pisces? What will Pisces be focused on in the month of July? What is not a priority for Pisces in the month of July? And what is something that Pisces is blind to? And what should Pisces avoid this month? And what is your overall action and advice for Pisces? Prime of the deck, we have the King of Cups. This makes you think of you, Pisces. So let's take a look. So I definitely feel like you're overcoming some sort of money block, like something, some likely some emotional tie, some pattern that, like, some beliefs that have been instilled in you since you were a kid. You're like releasing these blocks. Like maybe you grew up around um, parents, uh, people that, you know, used to always tell you couldn't afford things or that's too expensive, et cetera, you know. Um, or maybe, you know, there really wasn't enough when you were a kid. And it kind of just instilled in you this mindset, you know, to hold on to your resources, that there's never enough. And I feel like you're really letting go of this this pattern, this cycle of thoughts and beliefs regarding money that's been holding you back. You're no longer holding on to these. You see that with this Four of Pentacles reversed here. You know, you, I think you've just been maybe so worried about finances and you're like, you know, that fear is just keeping you in that state. So I feel like in this month of July, you're really overcoming that. You're really working on your, your thoughts, your beliefs, your emotions related to money. Um, to wealth, to your job, everything regarding the material realm, specifically I see money and finances. And what you don't see, what you're blind to is a five of cups reverse. And that's why I really feel like you don't really, you might not be realizing this right now, but it's a realization you're coming to in July is that your emotional state, you know, is really linked to your financial state because money is energy. And I feel like there's just been this emotional type excuse me, in a negative um, sense to money and your job, career, all of that. Uh, and you're releasing these emotional ties. You're now looking at things more positively about money. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you in this group are doing um, like affirmations regarding money um, or whatever it is you're trying to manifest. If not, I feel like that's something that will be super useful for you because your focus in July is the 10 of Pentacles. You are focused on building wealth for you, your family, future generations. You want stability. You want, you know, want money. And um, maybe a lot of people in this group too could feel shame about wanting money. You know, um, I wouldn't be surprised if you're a spiritual healer in some sense, or it just could be your personality. Like, you know, you might just feel like selfish if you have a lot of money or like maybe there's even feelings of not feeling worthy of it. 
whatever this is, this you're overcoming these emotions, this emotional tie to scarcity, and you're focused on building wealth. And maybe this this is something that you know you're thinking about the future, and you're like, what can I do to change this? You know, I work hard, I do all the things you're supposed to do, but I still feel like I don't have enough. Um, and what comes down to is it really is an energetic level, an emotional level that is going to break you free of your current reality and bring forth more abundance to you. And I really do feel like, you know, it says to what's not a priority, the king of swords. Like, I feel like you've been going about finances and career and all that in a logical way, which is fine. We need both logical and emotional, you know, sides, but this is all on an energetic, emotional level. We have here you embracing more of the King of Cups than the King of Swords in the month of July. And I feel like, you know, still you can do all the things you're doing, your job, you know, but doing the work on the emotional level regarding all of this, regarding your money mindset, is what's going to really break through um, and change the patterns and the cycles, you know. Maybe you could even be like breaking through like generational karma or regarding money with this Ten of Pentacles here, especially. But yeah, you're really focused on your money and I feel like you really are going to be really like, it's going through like, like eventually, we're only talking about one month here, but like entering a new tax bracket, you know, like really upping your finances by doing this energetic work here. And what the advice is, overall action advice is Six of Cups reverse. This is really stemming from childhood. This could have to do with um, an authority figure, specifically your father, your parents or whoever raised you, your teachers, even like culture, society, really. Um, I think what would be really great if you haven't started this work already, like if you have, this is total confirmation from the spirit that you're on the right track and this is working. Um, but, well, I don't even know what I was just going, <laughs> but you really to get clear on like um, patterns and like the thoughts you were given as a child growing up, um, and how that plays a role now. Because a lot of the time, this energetic stuff, emotional stuff, it's like in our subconscious. So I feel like journaling will be really great. There's books out there that help with money mindset. I'm I'm actually doing this like money manifestation 21 day journey right now um, by Catherine Zenkina. Um, if you feel, if this is resonating, you could check out like, uh, there's a lot of free resources. You know, you can look up like money block journal prompts, money mindset journal prompts. You can watch or listen to podcasts like um, Manifestation Babe. There's so many resources out there. I read a book called Rich as Fuck that was really good. <laughs> Excuse me, French, um, by Amanda Francis. There's so many resources out there. Like it's becoming, I mean, I don't know if mainstream is the right word, but the link between our emotions and our energy and all that in money is is becoming more clear because um, money isn't energy. So I feel like you're just really releasing these blocks, releasing these um, emotional attachments, these things, uh, mindset related to money, and you're really um, focused on breaking free of that so you can build this wealth, build this money, that career, you know, the prosperity, the abundance that you want. And, and saying affirmations will be really helpful. Um I feel like for a lot of people, there's some like guilt or something, you know, and I feel like just being like, I am worthy of abundance. And when you think about it, like good people need money, you know, you like people that are like, you know, some people might think evil people have money and stuff like that. And sure, like maybe there are a few, you know, some evil people, there's a lot of good people that have money as well. And when the good people have money like you, you know, you can put money into businesses, you support charities, you support can support people you love, you know, it's not a selfish thing. It's actually will help the people all around you. Um, so yeah, saying affirmations like I am worthy of abundance. I'm worthy of my desires. Um, my good comes from everywhere and everyone. I'm a magnet for wealth and abundance, like whatever it is that calls to you. Um, but what's really important with using affirmations and doing this work, this energetic work and stuff is consistency. So can you block out some time every day to do that? You know, I feel like that would be really good for you this month. Um, I feel like there's something here with like, yeah, just spending time in July doing that energy work, doing that emotional work, that shadow work, whatever you want to call it, um, and cutting out any distractions that might be stopping you. Like, 
you know, some people might feel triggered doing this. They might get upset emotionally, like being like, oh God, my parents did it's their fault or whatever, you know, like if you feel triggered by other people who have money or show it on the internet or something, well, first of all, you can unfollow accounts that make you feel bad, but also like that's a great journal prompt. Why, you know, that being like triggered is actually a good thing in a way because it helps you like realize where there's like some blocks inside you, where there's some stuff you got to work through, you know. Um, but I feel like this month to really build your wealth and your financial future is to kind of be free of distractions in the month of July and do that inner work and really dedicate time every single day, you know, for yourself and your growth. And it's going to really help you so much in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get some more cards for Pisces, please. Card number 36, wildness, electricity. Interesting. I have something about this. It's just really like saying like, there's like freedom. Doesn't it look like her like heart chakra, maybe her like um, solar plexus is just like, yeah, it's more solar plexus. It's just like bursting open. I feel like you've been holding on to some emotional trauma, some thoughts that have just been like holding you back for so long from like just being wild and free. And I feel like you're bursting out of this bubble, this scarcity mindset bubble. You're, you know, maybe there's been so many things you've been wanting to experience, wanting to travel, wanting to do, you know. Um, there's like all this stuff inside of these ideas, this creative energy and flow, but like there's been something blocking it. And it's like you feeling like there's not enough or not having enough resources and stuff. And I feel like doing this work is going to be so freeing for you. Um, I feel like doing solar plexus work would be really helpful. Um, root chakras, it can have to do with a lot of money stuff as well, but I just really feel like you're opening up this like root chakra. I feel, or I mean, solar plexus chakra, this creative outlet, you know, you're, I feel like you have so much to share with the world, but maybe you, you're, you know, you haven't expressed your ideas. You haven't dedicated time to whatever it is, your healing arts, your creative endeavors, whatever it is for you specifically, because you've been doing everything by the books. You're like, well, I have to have this nine to five to pay the bills, you know, but you, you're able to break free, break free of these restrictions and limiting beliefs, break free of the matrix. You're, you're going to be able to like come to all these realizations doing this inner work that you are free. You are able to experience life the way you want to. There's so much out there for you to experience. You don't have to do things by the book. You don't have to do things everyone, the way everyone else is doing. I feel like you're really doing a lot of inner work this month. I mean, especially around money, but it's going to open you up to so many possibilities and make you feel so good, have more energy because you're freeing this stuff that you've been holding on to that's not serving you for so long. What else, Spirit for Pisces? Oh, this came out in another group. <laughs> Selkie, come out of hiding. Embrace who you really are. Doesn't that seem similar? Like breaking free, you know, that electric feel. Like come out of hiding. Embrace who you really are. I feel like, Pisces, you do have some spiritual, like, creative gifts, whatever. You have something to share with the world. And I feel like it has been put on the back burner because you've been doing things by the book because that's the way you believe you have to do things to make money. And I'm not saying just quit everything right now, but like through this journey of um, working through any limiting beliefs, especially, you know, around career and, and money specifically, um, maybe you're like have some gift like and you feel like that can't be your full-time job because you can't make enough money doing that. And that's a limiting belief, you know? There's just, I feel like there's just so much emotional, lim like, in belief things that you're going to be working through in July that's really going to get you out of this bubble you've been in and really, like, have you experience life and, like, fulfill your purpose. Like, embrace who you really are. You have some gifts to share with the world. And when you do more things, you know, when you do this and you get more on alignment, you're going to have all this energy. You're going to feel free. Um, like and one thing, like if you feel like it's bad to have a lot of money, you're saying like, think about like having money is like equal to freedom. You can do what you want, go where you want, eat what you want, you know, like there's just so much freedom to it. You're going to feel so good and you can share that, you know, there really is this lingering feeling I'm getting from people in this group that feel that there's like, maybe you don't even realize and that's some subconscious thing you need to work through is like this unworthiness or this guilt or whatever around abundance. But the more abundant you are, the more freedom you have, the more you can embrace your unique talents and skills and share them with the world. 
Because I feel like right now in like the way things have been, the job you've been in or whatever, it just hasn't really been, it, you, it's, you know, I'm sure you're doing a great job, but I feel like there's just a part of you that's meant to be shared with the world that we haven't experienced yet. And it would be a shame if we didn't, you know? So I feel like you're just really going, you're ending this pattern and you're breaking free into a new cycle after doing this inner work that's going to really be aligned and feel really good for you. I love this for you, Pisces. <laughs> what else? Spirit for Pisces. Oh, this is my favorite card in the deck. All is well. All is well, Pisces. There's been stress, I can tell, um, about finances, about the future, about money, about life itself, you know? About like, am I really living my purpose, you know? All is well. You are a shining star in this world, Pisces. The world needs you. We love you. <laughs> All is well. Don't. I feel like you might have been really hard on yourself for maybe not having the money you want, the career you want. You know, don't be hard on yourself. It's never too late to do the inner work to do you. You know, it's never too late. And if you're worried about spending more time on yourself, don't. Like all is well. Your spirit guides are with you. I feel like heart chakra is just going to be open you're going to feel so much love and emotional well-being with this five of cups reverse here you don't see that it's coming for you you know i feel like there's been this worry about money especially finances your family you know and I, maybe things were really tough growing up in, in multiple ways whatever way you know but it's all well now you know we don't need to cling on to the past we can learn from that we've all gone through things you know we all have been and that we've all been affected by our past. And, you know, that's just part of our human experience is to experience these things and learn from them. And I feel like this is the month where you're really learning and you're growing and evolving, you know, and all is well. That would be a great affirmation to say. I love this card so much. All is well, Pisces. Let's get some tea leaves. Is there anything else for Pisces? Anything else for Pisces? Oh. Great worry over nothing. <laughs> Spirit's making that clear. All is well. Great worry over nothing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't want to dismiss your anxiety or your worries or anything, but Spirit's saying you're, you might be worked up about things, but all is well, you know? Everything works out in the end, right? Just think about it. I love that this just flew out. You know, it's okay to worry. Like I said, um... When you get triggered, you have these feelings and worry feelings, anxiety, write it out. Do a brain dump. Get it out on paper so you don't dwell on it, you know? And I feel like saying all is well. Life is good. You know, I'm going to be okay. Like, if you're worried about being yourself, going after your dreams, you have nothing to worry about. All is well. Your spirit guides are supporting you. If it feels aligned, if it's right for you, you know, it is right. You'll be okay. All is well. I love this. I don't think I need to draw any more cards uh, for Pisces. Uh, that's what I'm getting from Spirit. But that is your reading, Pisces. I really like this energy. I feel like things are just... I just feel like this is your energy after this this inner work. It's, it's beautiful, energizing, loving. All is well, Pisces. <laughs> I love you so much. Um, that is your reading. I hope it resonated. I hope it was helpful. Uh, yeah, again, I will link the July pick a card if you want to watch that and your sun, moon, and rising. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment, and yeah, I do offer private readings if you are interested. My email is down below. I offer both recorded readings and live readings, uh, both tarot and astrology, but I'm really just so grateful you're here. I appreciate you so much. I'm so grateful for you, Pisces. I love you so, so much. Have a beautiful month, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Love you.